St. Petersburg, Florida, and I had a pool in my backyard. And I spent a lot of time underwater, mainly hiding from my mom. <laughs> what got me into free diving was I've always been obsessed with the ocean, scuba divers, anything that has to do with being underwater. As a kid, I got a lot of recognition for being the best at holding my breath, and it was the only thing that I was good at, like truly good at. I was okay at playing baseball, soccer, football, but when it came to being in the water, that was where I really shined. <coughs> in free diving specifically when I saw the big blue and that was the moment my epiphany in life that I said I want to do that that is exactly that's exactly what I want to do I would say free diving can be a lifestyle in order to perform to the best of your ability it becomes a lifestyle you don't go out drinking every night you don't end up smoking cigarettes you go to bed early you eat really healthy food, you eat in regimented schedules, and you start to cleanse your mind of all the garbage that usually pollutes it, and you're able to simplify things. Is there a spiritual part to freediving? Absolutely. You spend so much time in thought, and you're down there in your own thoughts, and you're witnessing things that most people don't have a chance to see in complete serenity and quietude and that leads a person to think beyond themselves and when you experience that multiple times it sort of opens your mind in ways that you never thought possible. I hope to come to Colombia next year at some point. I'm going to be training for Team Worlds and um, I would love to come to Colombia, do some depth training out there and then go into the mountains and train dynamics which would be awesome. Really get the altitude training combined with, with training dynamics and I think that would be pretty awesome. Plus I hear, um, I hear Colombia is a really nice place to go and Carlos is there so why not? And Sophia. And Sophia. <laughs> and sometimes Waleed in the past. <laughs> Make sure you free dive safely. Observe the one up, one down. Never dive alone. Never do anything beyond your ability. Always have patience. Never take a dive for granted. You don't know what you don't know what dive is going to be your last, so never take any of them for granted. Always treat each dive as it was the most important dive of your life.
always love what you're doing and never forget that you love it. They're screaming. And then they start chanting, La Sirena, La Sirena. I'm like, are you serious right now? Inside the sub shooting, and then my friend Dre was up on the, the, the um, deck of the boat shooting down, and then Tom was in the water filming like toward the submarine. So we have like every angle of awesomeness, and this all came together completely unexpectedly. 